You guys are gonna wanna pump up your business for 2018. At least I think so. I mean, it makes sense to me, doesn't it, you? Yes. Well, listen, non-QM, that's going to be the buzzword for 2018. Yep. So, Angel Oak is here with non-QM. Yes. They're gonna be doing a webinar this upcoming Thursday. It's gonna help you with your business and it's gonna help you with the direction, the trajectory of the industry for 2018. All you have to do to get there is click this banner right over there, or if it's on Facebook, it's, uh, it's, it's right up there. Now, um, I gotta tell you, we are about to run into something resembling a perfect storm. Now you may remember that's a movie where Marky Mark and George Clooney are a couple of fishermen in the Northeast who accidentally run into the convergence of three storms, which made, well, the perfect storm. And they all died. Something like that. Hmm. Here's our perfect storm. Zillow says the average rent cost is $2,000 Per month. The rent's too damn high. That's a lot. Now that comes out to an average of a top or front ratio of 29. And that number is historically extremely high. Now, if you're looking for rental prices to ease up, don't hold your breath. And that's because of home prices. We currently have a massive lack of inventory in most markets. Now, we're not seeing homes getting listed at the rate necessary from existing inventory. And when you consider rebuilding Florida, Houston, North, and even now, my God, Southern California, new home construction is stagnant due to a lack of workers. That means fewer homes being listed while fewer homes being built will result in less affordable and increasing home prices. Yeah. Values are gonna keep going up based on our precarious circumstances. And as is the case with everyone that has means or a little money in their pocket, you might have to, I don't know, cut back on your fondue and champagne parties. Oh, that would be horrible. Or maybe the little lady gets a coach bag instead of that Dolce & Gabbana one that she really wanted. Wouldn't that be tragic? Now, I mean, your sacrifices here, guys, for an escalating housing market is at near biblically horrible proportions. Now. But what about the poor? Okay, buying houses in 2018. Let's just forget about that. Seriously, if it's you're poor help. and you want to someday own a house, pray for another recession or a marketing correction at minimum. That's a big one. But what about renting? Ah, okay, so here's our perfect storm. Actually living indoors is going to be difficult in 2018 if you're poor. The reasons are multifaceted. First. Home values are pushing rental costs higher and at a disproportionate rate. Remember we said the average top ratio for all those renters is 29%? Well, for a homeowner, somebody who owns a house, it's 15.4%. Now, why is that? Well, because if you own a home in 2017, you make more money. So even if your payments are higher, your ratios are lower, thus more affordable. Remember, we're talking about the poor and their inability to rent. So more of the perfect storm, Frank, please. Okay, so mortgage experts have petitioned Congress to keep the low income housing tax credit offsetting the impact of a lower corporate tax rate on housing credit investment and maintaining the tax exemption for private activity bonds. Okay, because without these tools, hundreds of thousands of affordable rental homes would not even be built or preserved with millions of low-income families lacking access to affordable housing and suffering under crushing rental burdens. The stakes, guys, I'm telling you, it could not be higher. Okay, so the poor are facing a nearly impossible battle as it is to afford living indoors. And by the way, if you saw that Colts versus the Bills game this last Sunday, it's not the time to get stuck without shelter, unless you're Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Then bring it on. Bring on the bears too, not the Chicago ones. I'm talking the real grizzly variety. But if you're not him, wrong time to be without shelter now, isn't it? Again, with our current existing and new building shortage, home values will continue at their historically unprecedented rise upward, which is affecting rental costs at a disproportionate rate in the wrong direction. In short, rents are skyrocketing. Then you add in that Congress is looking at getting rid of low-income housing tax credits, which is going to push affordability in the low-income rental space even further away. Which means we have, well, the perfect storm. And like Marky Mark and George Clooney, the prospect of survival doesn't look very good. Now, the thing is, it doesn't have to be this way. Now, sure, we can't avoid our natural disasters. That's outside of our control. And sure, it's great home values are so high if you own a home. We get it. 
but we can control our housing tax credits. So let's not pile on, it's just not the right time. Keep the tax credits in place and for once give the underserved folks of this country a fighting chance. Because I'll tell you, if you wanna know, and I mean really wanna know what a country values, look at how they deal with their poor. We can do better than this with housing. Yeah, those tax credits. That's your Section 8 stuff, basically, right? Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. It encompasses a whole bunch of stuff. You're answering more mortgage credit certificates, mm -hmm. your tax credits for building, mm -hmm. you know, offsetting your Section 8. It's a whole bunch of stuff. It's just basically going to take the poor and the, the things that are keeping them indoors. And if we pull all that away, it's going to put them outdoors. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know. That doesn't sound so good. No, no. Listen, we... Uh, I think a lot of people see us as kind of a, the champions for the rich, you know, because less regulation, less regulation. We think that less regulation helps the poor. We, we want to see, uh, we as Americans, we want to see our fellow Americans taken care of. Yeah. And the ones who need it the most are the ones who are on the lower rungs of the socioeconomic ladder. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do us a favor, forward, share. We really appreciate that. Subscribe free in your upper right hand corner on the website. Tweet like, it. Like us on Facebook. Facebook. Tag people. It really, really helps us. Thank you. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.